everybody, welcome to Kids Church. Come on, let's go! Timothy 4.12 Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young Be an example to all believers in what you say in the way you live in your love your faith and your purity Man, I love that verse so much. 1 Timothy 4, 12. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say and the way you live and your love and your faith and your purity. Today we're talking about the way that you live. How do you live your life? And for some reason, that made me think about fish. Huh? So we're in the water right now. Have you ever seen a fish before? Have you seen it swim? When you see a fish, like this giant fish I've got right here, when you see it swim in the water, it's kind of so like effortless. It's like, it's like the coolest thing ever. And just, what? Like, so effortless, so nice. So, but the second a fish gets out of the water, what's happening? Have you ever caught a fish before? If you're gone fishing, you go fish. I think I got some fish over here. I go fishing, catch a fish, reel it in. And the second it gets out of the water, what happens when a fish gets out of the water? It's flopping around. It's crazy. It doesn't know what to do. It's up on the land. And it seems like the craziest thing ever, but when a fish is in the water, it moves so fast and so clean and so perfect and smooth all the time. And it made me think about the way we live our lives. I wonder if it's kind of the same for us, if when we're living for God, when we're actually living where God made us to live with him and for him, helping others, loving others, doing what he wanted us to do, rather than just what we want to do, like a fish could see a really big bug on the shore and he could jump up and eat it. <laughs> But then he's stuck on the shore and he's flopping around because he can't breathe. Why? Because a fish was designed to be in the water. And when they're in the water, they're safe. They can do the things that God made them to do. They're beautiful. And there's no worries at all, unless a bigger fish comes by. Oh, no! Same thing with us. When we live the way God wants us to live, it is a brand new life. It is something really special. It is, we're not flopping around, gasping for air, like a, like a fish on the shore. No, we are doing what he wants us to do and we're in love with him and we're helping others. So we can actually set an example for other people instead of always needing to constantly play video games. That's an example. Or always needing to eat just junk food or always needing to be the coolest person or always needing to have the best stuff or always needing to do other stuff to make us feel good. We can live for Jesus and maybe, maybe he wants you to play video games with people. Maybe he wants you to share junk food with other people. Nope. I don't know. But... If we need those things and we live for those things, we kind of look like a fish out of water. So in your junk food eating and in your video game playing and in all of the stuff you do that makes you really cool and who you are, are you doing it for Jesus? And are you doing it because you love Jesus or are you doing it to try to find your own way? Are you doing it to make yourself feel really good? Are you doing it because you're bored and it's the only thing you've got to do fish gets bored in the water and he jumps out of the water it doesn't go really well for him so if you get bored in your life and you turn away from Jesus to find something else guess what it's not gonna go really well for you so right now we need to go back towards him I want to pray for you guys but first I've got my friends the Strombecks they are some of the coolest people I know we're gonna go to them right now and find out why they love Jesus and what they know about him they're gonna talk to us see ya Evelyn, why don't you
are some of the best parts of your life? Hmm. Some of the best parts of my life are having my family with me and animals. I love picking them up. Mm. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Livy, what are some of the best parts of your life? So, one of the best parts of my life... Look at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so, one of the best parts of my life... The bee's right there. Is... Is... Um... Like... Being with my family, getting to go to a really good church, and getting to have a playground in my neighborhood, <laughs> and having a sister and a brother, and got the beetle I just dad. love animals, and I love centipedes. <laughs> I love everything. All right. Blaze, what's some of the best parts of your life? Um, some of my best parts of my life is when Ev sings with me, I'm going to sing with her. Mm -hmm. But when Ev hugs me, that means I want to marry her. So, <laughs> you know what? I'm seeing a theme from all of you guys. Seems like a lot of the best parts of your life is your family and being with family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my and my whole life is um my family where all of my family gives me a hug. All right, everybody, listen. I have something special to say. Did you know that a lot of people, when they get older, they forget that the best parts of their life is family and their relationships. Isn't that kind of sad? All right, tell me that you won't forget that, okay? We will not forget that. Give each other some big hugs. <coughs> All right, Ev, show us that beetle you wanted to show us. And also, All right, guess what? This beetle, we just randomly found him inside. And he's kind of slippery. That is a big beetle. I mean, I thought it was a dung beetle, but I'm gonna touch it. I think it might be a Goliath beetle. Probably. That's pretty good. I'm gonna touch it. You wanna hold it? No, I just wanna touch it. All right, Evelyn, how was Jesus' life different than anyone else's? His life was more different because he didn't have um, any sin. Mm hmm. What else, Livy? Um, it, it, his life is different because he, like, there's like not a single bad thing, not not even the tiniest bit. Yeah. That's bad that he did. Blaze, what was different about Jesus' life than everybody else's life? Um what did Jesus do that nobody else did? Um my whole family and God made me have a life and he made me um no say what did Jesus do that nobody else did? Um, when when God gave me a scooter, he <laughs> he wanted to give me a scooter so so I can be happy. But he gave me a bike too, so I can be very happy. Yeah. What about when Jesus died on the cross? He made. That was different, right? Yeah. Yeah, something Jesus did that is different than everybody else's, that he died on the cross for our sins. there's another thing that God what? did that nobody else did. What? He died for our sins and he, he made all humans. Yeah. He, Jesus' life was different because he was very selfless. He, also, he lived his whole life for other people. He also made the entire world. Got it? Would be looking at yeah. Okay, last question. How can you set an example for others of how to live like Jesus? Um, be kind to them. Oh, that's very good. Share stuff with them. Be nice. What can you do to be kind to them? You can, like, you, you can, like, let them do the toys, or you could do anything nice. Yeah, nice. I like that. <laughs> what about you, Evelyn? You can show kindness to them. Mm -hmm. And you can
can show them what love is and how Jesus died on the cross for our sins and every single thing that he ever did for us. Where are you guys going? You ran away from the bee? Yeah. Okay. Please. Please. <laughs> Man, I love the straw back family. That's so cool, guys. This week, let's go and live our lives for Jesus. Let's go love him like fish in the water, not like fish out of the water. You know, when we started this whole video, I was underwater and um, it was very hard to talk to you guys. But now that I'm out where I'm supposed to be, you can hear me pretty clearly. So go live your lives for Jesus and like a fish in the water, swimming beautifully and having so much fun. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for all these amazing boys and girls and their amazing families. Help them to love you and live for you in every single thing that they do. Let it be all for you, that you would get the glory and the honor and the praise. God, we love you more than anything else. And we're willing to say no to anything else so we can say yes to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs>